so on, were massacred in what became one of the most heinous crimes against humanity in world history. The Young Turks, under the slogan of Turkey for the Turks, systematically planned the expulsion of the Ottoman Armenians from their homeland. Western Armenia, unfortunately, became Eastern Turkey. Cultural and material possessions went into the hands of ethnic Kurds and Turks, who grew wealthy from Armenian property and fortune. Our ancestors' blood was mixed with the soil, and Turkey stepped on it. Our intellectuals were hung, tortured, and killed, so that Armenian history and culture could simultaneously be erased. Mothers and children were raped and killed, and a 3,000-year-old civilization and homeland became the killing grounds for one of the largest mass graves. When I close my eyes, I can still see Armenian women jumping into the Euphrates River with dignity to escape rape. Body Gagusta Mahum Balorit, Orange County, Haidati, Kasman Gepats, Hyot Sevas Panutian, Inusun Inero Tanedarti Arti. Imanunus Haskin Kiriposiane, Intmet Spotive Borel, I Sorba Yereko. I Spolori Avelat Sartarine Sharna Kabar, Merfo, Hyot Sevas Panutian, Inusun Inero Tari, Turkagan Garabarutian Bogmits. Inusun Inu Tari Arach, Mekukes Mion Hyet. Kapea bar kushvetsin idens penoran nerits der zori anapat, vore yeva darsat hayutian amena vokper kali patmakan ejerits meka. Yerit turkeli, yerit turkeli gazma gerbat semasman tuna, ira gorzalo ashkari achki archev, vore kar darutian pesa men vokper tuna, yev burmanat. Mekukes milion kanait yer khaner yev tere, katan idens vokper kakan maha. Anjankneri, Haratzankneri, Baroyakan Anpatutian, Amenat Tanshan Tatastan. Yere Khazar Darwa Patutian, Yere Kultura Unetshov Asgas. Amena Anmart Kain Paimanerum, Chunenanov, Nuinis Irens Kerezmanel, Irens Arunov, Nerkets Terzori, Shikatshats Avaznerel. Shad Kanaik Yere Kuis Achchikner, Netelov Irens Yepat Geta, Perketsin Irens Pativa Ansnakan Mahov. Նրանց վար հիշատակը միշտեր կա ու կմնա մեր բոլորի սրտերում, այնքան ժամանակ, որ կան կգոյատևի իմ հայ ասկս։ Ես այսոր շատ հվարդ եմ, որ հայ եմ ձմել։ Պարդ ուվատիվ բոլոր նրանց, ովքեր միչ որս չեն տաթարել մեր Եվ մեր հողերի պահանջատիկության և վնասի հատությանք։ Շանակալություն եվ ոտցեց մեր հատությանց։ So it is with genocide. There is no room for the women. They were in queue, tainted, and despised. Yet they were the ones who suffered most. They were the ones who paid a terrible price. They had to carry the heaviest burden of all. They had to regenerate life. There are very few of these young girls who are still alive. In Yerevan, Armenia, I found Maria, 104 years old. She could have been my grandma. My sweet grandma. Mama, how's my baby? Pardon me, let's again. Che, as I'm just. He didn't change his own work. Make shopping and what not. We're not hiring a sister. What's it on the board? We're not driving him or seeing. There's the him or seeing. You know, there's the rest of the him or seeing. Yeah, carry the yeah, carry. But it's his or seeing. Asking each person to do that, and then it's what you're doing. It must be. 
long delayed is justice denied. And the pursuit of moral justice does not have a time limit. This is why, after 99 years, we still fight. The massacre of people on behalf of the Turkish government is still taking place today, but simply in deceivingly alleviated forms. The country's current lobbyist collects tens of thousands of dollars from the government in Ankara, thousands monthly in an effort to hide a crime. If what happened in 1915 was justifiable, there would be no reason to spend so much money hiding it, would there? Obviously, there's a reason why so much is being devoted towards preventing the recognition of the crime. Although through different means, it is clear that the fight against genocide still continues today. For this reason, the youth of yesterday has taught today's Armenian youth the importance of upholding our cause. For the same reason, as part of today's youth, I recognize the necessity to contribute and be active in one's role as a part of this amazing cause. And on behalf of the Armenian Youth Federation, I also want to shine light on tomorrow's youth in emphasizing the importance of your role in educating yourselves, being aware of what is going on, and carrying on the torch that has been lit for so long in fighting for what is right. The youth is the future, and, as many times as I'm sure you've heard that, it's the truth. If you don't keep the flame lit, it could diffuse and die out. You have a role in proving that time will not make this genocide and all other crimes against humanity any more justifiable than if these events were to have taken place a day ago, if these events were to have taken place yesterday. 99 years later, and we are still here standing, fighting. 99 years and counting.
However, for me, there's another number that is equally as significant here. 13. That is the number of family members from my mother's side of the family that were killed during the massacre in 1915. The thought of 1.5 million people being subjected to torture and death based on nothing but their, but their ethnicity is truly disturbing and outrageous. But knowing that 13 of the 1.5 million were my ancestors is painful. I can't imagine what they went through. Over time, the Armenian community rebuilt itself and is stronger than ever. But the memory of innocent lives lost will always haunt this community. As a young Armenian person, I am grateful for the fact that I live in a country where I can celebrate my heritage and have countless opportunities. This gives me the motivation to be a good representative of the Armenian culture and keep the memories that were lost alive. Thank you. Thank you, and next, on behalf of AOF of your set of juniors, is a message by Nador Kovdikyan.
Mark for that beautiful performance. Uh, they give me chills every time. But you know what else gives me chills? Actually, it gives me laughs. Um, I read a few days ago that uh, during the April 24th day in Turkey, some Turks gathered up flags and they burned them. Now, if you guys all know, the Colombian flag also resembles the Armenian flag, except it's orange, blue, and then red. So it turns out that they burned Colombian flags. <laughs>
behalf of ANCA Orange County, uh, we have Sebu Mugardichin giving a little message. Thank you, Hosni. Um, the landscape of how the Armenian Genocide is viewed around the world has changed tremendously over the last two decades, thanks to the dedication work of diasporans across the world. Over 20 countries officially recognized the Armenian Genocide. Recognition of the Armenian Genocide is a crucial tool we utilize to pressure the Turkish government. We must not be discouraged by the fact that we are nearing the 100 year anniversary of the Armenian Genocide, and that we still have not gained recognition and reparations from the Turkish government. During the month of April, the ANCA made major strides in Washington towards legislation in favor of our cause. Washington, for the first time in nearly a quarter century, with a vote of 12 to 5 in the Foreign Relations Committee, adopted an Armenian Genocide Resolution. The resolution calls upon the Senate to commemorate this crime and encourages the President to ensure that America's foreign policy reflects and reinforces the lessons of the still unpunished genocide. There were two key resolutions passed in Sacramento as well. The first resolution, which was passed by the California State Assembly Education Committee, is a bill requiring the inclusion of Armenian genocide education in public high schools. The second resolution passed by the California State Assembly honors and commends the service of the Near East Relief and the American people who saved over 132,000 orphans and provided humanitarian aid to the victims of the Armenian Genocide. Every resolution passed by governmental organizations, whether in the United States, Canada, South America, or Europe will put even greater pressure on the government of Turkey to recognize the Armenian Genocide. <laughs> News outlets in Turkey and scholars in Turkey are now, are now speaking about the Armenian Genocide. Because of the work put forth by diasporans and Armenian or Turkish activists within Turkey, Turkish citizens, as a result, are being exposed to the fact that their ancestors committed a crime of genocide against the Armenians. A conversation that started within Turkey whether the Armenian genocide truly occurred. As we near the 100 year anniversary of the Armenian genocide, it is even more imperative that we work towards our cause. All the organizations present today exemplify how we as diasporans have maintained the Armenian identity. Maintaining and growing our Armenian identity and culture in and of itself surmounts tremendous pressure upon the Turkish government and works counter to their goal of trying to annihilate our culture, history, and religion since 1915. Lastly, in addition to fighting for justice towards the Armenian Genocide, it is also important that we realize the importance of the Armenia we have today. We must remember that we are not only as strong as our diaspora, but we are also as strong as our nation. Let's not rule Armenia out of the equation. Let us instead strengthen and bring forth the changes we seek for our country so that we are able to demand the justice that is rightly ours as a people. Thank you. Thank you for that wonderful speech. Um, before before um, uh, presenting the next uh, performance, I'd just like to give a little story about my uh, my ancestors. So my ancestors from my mom's side were from Vaughan, and um, during the genocide they fled to Baghdad, Iraq, and uh, my great grandmother uh, when migrating from Iraq to Armenia, uh, they were so moved to be in their homeland, finally, that they named my grandfather uh, Hayastan. So his name was Hayastan Papi. <laughs> so all of these deceased today, he's always in my heart. Um, so the next musical performance, uh, it'll be, the first will be by Greg Hosharian and Eileen Amirayan, and then uh, we'll have another performance by Greg and the Hosharian Brothers Band. Thank you.
カルカの